What is your mindset going on the football field? Um, that's a, that's a great question. I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, I don't know. Probably like the Mario theme song or something. Okay. Like whenever he gets like that superstar or whatever, it turns gold. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Good question. That was a theme song in your mind. Yeah, like do 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 that one. Yeah. Now we're gonna get a copyright strike on that. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking you can't copyright that. How's the uh, the run defense? from the start of the season. You guys have been playing really well all season long, but Jim Knowles said yesterday you don't want to ever be like finished at your best. Like You want to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. How has the run defense gotten better over the course of the year? Uh, I think we're improving a lot. I mean, um, we're just very gap sound as of now. Uh, there are still some plays where someone might get uh, a little antsy, get out of their gap, try to make a play. You just got to trust the guy next to you that he's going to be in this gap. Everyone does their job, and someone's going to end up making the tackle. How much better this year is when a mistake is made, there's somebody behind you to correct it? Uh, I think it's a lot better. I think it's just, yeah, like I said earlier, just that trust that we have with one another. We trust that someone's going to be there. And uh, even if someone messes up, that you got a guy behind you that's going to help you out. Was it like playing alongside Cody at the, at the mic spot this week? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I play, along, play with Cody uh, all throughout, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, spring ball. But, I mean, yeah, any, anyone in that room that I could play with, it's, it's awesome to be by their side. It's just a great room. Coach Knowles said he has a similar mind to Tommy in terms of the way he sees the defense. Was there much difference you noticed with Cody kind of out there calling things? No, no difference. Oh. What about their approach? Like, is there how they handle things, What, how, like, the different way that they go about things? How does that differ? Uh, no, I mean, they both just work their butt off preparing before the game. So, I mean, again, there's no really difference. You put Cody in there and nothing changed. There's no difference at all? There's nothing at all that stands out as a difference between the two of them? Nope, just that one's 30, one's 35. <laughs> it's the only thing. Cody talk more? Uh, he grunts less. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Steele, are you partaking into senior day activities? I think my mom's going to force me to, so, yeah. That's something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm just getting ready for this game. But, uh, yeah, I think she's going to want to take pictures or something, go out to dinner. So if that's, like, what you mean by senior day stuff, then, yeah. Like the on-field beforehand, the, the, you guys being honored? Oh, I, I, I'm not. I You're think not so. Honest. Maybe. I couldn't tell you. Maybe. Can I ask Are you guys staying focused on Minnesota with the game on the horizon? Yes, we are. Yeah, Coach Day was very adamant early in the week about – taking it week by week and not looking too far ahead. So, yeah, we've been pretty focused on Minnesota. Does does the Maryland game kind of remind you of that last year? I mean, the Maryland game was pretty tight going into the Michigan game. Like, does that sit in your mind? Oh, that was sick the last game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a game oh, for Michigan. Damn. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, I guess now that you mentioned it, yeah, I mean, just definitely don't want a repeat of that, of what happened last year. So, yeah, just be more focused on the opponent at hand. What, what is that challenge, though? I mean, there's so much going on with Michigan right now. What is the challenge of staying focused each week and not kind of looking ahead? It's just not paying attention to all the outside noise, just staying focused on everything that's going on in this facility. Steel, what's it like just knowing that this is your senior day of the journey that you've had here at Ohio State? Uh, pretty cool. I'm getting old, so I've been here for a while, so... That time passes, so you got to move on. Yeah. Do you feel old? Yeah, I mean, yeah, my body feels old. My goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, I do feel old, but I'm young at heart, I guess. Being a being a being a fifth year guy, I mean, just what's this year been like for you, kind of having this, you know, senior year? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you never really realize it till you get into the moment. Uh, like uh, they said one time in the office, you never really realize that you're in the good times until you finally get there. But I mean, like uh, you just get to some moments. Like me and Tommy realized uh, that this last week is going to be last time. We're just going to be chilling in the hotel room on Friday nights. Uh, just realizing like you only get a few more times just hanging out with the guys at the house and stuff. So it's just it's just cherishing those moments. Are you planning to take a moment in the stadium and just soak it in? Yeah, yeah sure. Whenever I get there, I'll see. You had questions? Oh, I had questions. Oh, uh, let me think. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, dude, I blanked. It was something about an animal, but I forgot. Figures. Yeah, I'm sorry. Whatever. Oh, I'm here. Thanks, Steel. Oh, Thank you, Steel.